I'm gonna show you guys how to find the best bait. It works like crack. <laughs> this bait, I'm, I can pretty much guarantee you fish. If there's fish in the area, you're gonna catch fish. And it's free. Come on, I'm gonna show you how I catch them. So today, we are on the Chesapeake Bay. We're actually at the Bay Bridge right now. We launched out of the west side, and uh, my goal today is to find some fish. So first things first, I need to find good bait. Little grass shrimp, and they're really easy to catch. Now, these grass shrimp are notorious for catching lots of fish. They're really good bait in this area, but first I just gotta find them. Now, they like to hide around these pylons and, and piers and docks and structure in shallower water, near grass, stuff like that and we're gonna dip our net in there just to find them. A great place to start looking for bait is around these poles. There's a lot of little creatures such as crabs, shrimps, and little minnows that you can use your dip net and catch. What I like to do is scrape the poles from the bottom up and see what I can catch. Ooh, I got like five. Look, they're, they're jumping all over the place. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot of little shrimp. Let's get more because these are going to go fast. <laughs> they're going to go really fast. You want to try and catch some? Aaron, you got to try here. What do I do? You just got to, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can see them, but you can just scoop them right up. You can't just see him. If you can't see him, just put your net in and scoop him. Crazy. You got oh, any? I got one. You got one? Let's go again. Okay. Just want to stick it down there, swash it around a little bit. Oh, yeah, see, I got another three right here. Let's go around those holes over there. This is so fun. I just like catching little shrimp too. Oh, I got a lot. Got a lot. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my god, look how many I got. <laughs> oh my god. Right? So many. These are big ones too, look. Whoa, I got a little crab too. Uh -uh. Yeah, I did. Yes. Let's see what I got. Oh, a little crab. <laughs> Dancing crab. Oh my goodness. Don't let it pinch you. What's going? Look at all those shrimps. That was a nice haul. I also have your crab here still. Oh yeah, let that go. Let that go? Yeah. I don't want it to pinch you. It won't pinch you. Just be nice and it won't pinch you. It would. No, not if you're really nice and you say please and thank you. Really? Mm-hmm. Just keep saying please and thank you. Okay. I'm so excited because I've always heard that you can tip your stuff with your grass shrimp. I've never yeah. tried it, so. Well, we're gonna try it now. So I've caught all these shrimps earlier and I'm just keeping them in a little bin like this because I forgot to bring anything else, but this works just fine. They all stay alive just like this. But I'm gonna take one like this. And I'm gonna put it on my tandem rig and you guys have seen this many times. My special hand tied flies. And we're gonna tip it just like this. Now there's many ways to put the shrimp on, but I like to do it this way, right under the head and through. Just like that, right? See how that looks? The other one would hook the exact same way, just like that. Okay, now that I have it both rigged up like this, here comes the fun part. We're gonna be finding structure. So stuff like these pylons, piles of rocks. Fish love to hide by this. These are like bottom of the food chain kind of 
kind of baits. So you're gonna catch all sorts of different kinds of fish. Let's have some fun. Okay, so let's give it a cast. So we're gonna start by casting towards these rock pilings right here and just working the bottom on those all the way back. So now we've positioned the boat down current and we're casting up current so that the bait will naturally drift into place. Fish don't want to see it bait moving unnaturally. So when you're pulling it against current, it looks straight. Ooh, got one. Nice. That's how it's done. Ooh. Now this is eating size. I catch, I'm looking for eating size and bait size. Look at that shrimp. What? Look at that shrimp. Still on. Still on. Right, so cast it up current. Let it drift back down. Let it sink to the bottom. And you'll know when there's a fish on it. I see a lot of people just cast it and retrieve it in real quick without letting it sink. You gotta let it sink. You gotta let it sit for a little bit. Nice. Oh, these are nice ones. Nice. Give me a scramp. Go get your scramp. Found them all at the bottom. Yeah, you gotta let it wait, huh? You got to color my life. On a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, your grandma's gonna be happy. Oh yeah, she is. Nice fish. Right here? Yeah, right here. In close. Same techniques everywhere we go. And it always works. On. Stripe. Little baby stripe. Hi, baby. Bye, baby. Oop. Let him go, let him grow. Let him go, let him go. Let him go, let him go. Let him go, be a hoe. Let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go. Da -da 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 -da. Right here, right? We should get crabs. Let's get a crab. Oh, we can do some crabbing here. I was gonna say that was quite a hook set. Yeah. On the way up. This one would be a good live line one. Show me your technique. How do you hook it up? Oh, my my shrimp technique. Your shrimping technique. Let's see. Select your shrimp. I go from under and just hook it through the top. That's just me. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. Like this. Sits very naturally. Okay. All right. Let's see you catch a fish. Let's try it. That's a good spot. She casted it right by the rock right there. Are you letting it sink? This all urge to jig. So let it sink. Let it sink first, right? You're on one. Nice bend. Wow, that's a big one, Aaron. Good job. Took the green one yeah, again, right? Which one it took, right? Yeah, and you cast it where? At this pile on this time? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So these these. Ow. Grass shrimp definitely work, huh? Stab me. Now, which is better, grass shrimp or squiddy bits, though? Oh, well, I was actually thinking earlier that I kind of miss the squiddy bits because I don't have to keep baiting it. You know, like I have to. This one, every fish, you gotta rebait it. But like, they love multiple, it. Multiple, yeah. It's like crack. <laughs> Green crack. I know you love it. You love perch fishing. And you're pretty darn good at perch fishing. 
little perch. Took my took my shrimp. That's why I like squiddy bits. Yeah. Because squiddy bits, you don't have to keep changing it out. Oh, I'm, I'm on. Nice. That was bottom. Green. Bottom green. Bottom and green. Oh, nice. Oh, whoa, this is a big one. Jeez oh. Louise. First one on the red. First one on the red. Yeah. That's a nice one. Nice. I'm on. A uh, pip squeak. Oh, it's a spot. Ooh, yes. Oh, yes. This is a good bait. That is a I'm going to live line that. Oh, no, this is a croaker. It's a spot. Cro oh, I think it's a croaker. That is a croaker. Interesting. More shrimpies. They're also way less gross to use than... Oh, like worms. Yeah. Oh, you really hate worms, huh? Uh, not a huge fan. Oh. Whoa, what is that? That is a monster perch. Oh, why'd you do that? I high sticked it, huh? Yeah. That was a big one. That was, like, that was a huge that one. Was Darn it. That was a big, that would have been the biggest one of your season. That's okay. Good bait one. Ooh, I'm on one. Oh, that's a nice one. It ate both of them at the same time. Look. Uh, greedy. What? It swallowed one completely. Look at this one. It got a it got an osprey attacking it. Whoa! That's that two crazy. big ones at a time. Oh. Ooh, snap. As you can see, the scavenge bait caught a whole mess of fish, and it was free bait. It just took us maybe 10 minutes in the beginning to catch it ourselves. Uh, once you find a spot of them, you can find a whole bunch of them. This is a great way to save money on bait. And if it's not grass shrimp, it's minnows or little crabs in your area, try and look in your area to see what, what kind of little bait stuff is around. Everywhere has different kinds of bait. Really, look into finding bait in your area and you'll be able to find more fish. Here at Hey Skipper, we want to help people learn how to fish. We want to make it easy to learn. And we do this by teaching you through our ebooks and PDFs online at heyskipperfishing.com. We also make a bunch of video tutorials and lots of stuff on our YouTube channel. So if you want to help support our channel and you want to learn more about fishing, subscribe to our channel and hit the little notification button to be notified every time we put out a new episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next week.